Hello everyone, my name is Jessica. Welcome back to Budget Freedom. I am sorry it has been a while since I have put up a video. It has been a crazy busy winter period for us, which is good. Um, but I do feel sorry for neglecting the channel for a while and I hope to get back on track now putting out all the videos that I promised you guys to do. Um, I'm going to do a lot more videos on the computer screen so that you are able to see what I'm doing, what I'm talking about, um, especially in regards to Wish and the other platforms that you guys have asked about. Today I'm doing a quick little video though um, and it's probably going to be in two parts and what I want to talk about today is how to start your side hustle or how to start your own private business. I have done a lot of videos in the beginning of the channel. They are quite long and there's quite a lot of them explaining our entire process, how we got started when I started my business and all the struggles that we went through. So if you want to go ahead and go back and watch that in detail, please feel free to go do that. Um, if not, I can't go into too much detail now because I want to keep these videos short. But basically, I started my business when my back was thrown out and I was actually lying on my back. I couldn't even sit up. I was lying straight on my back on the couch for three weeks um, and I had the computer up like this, the laptop, watching videos and getting things going. Sorry. <laughs> so it is perfectly possible for anybody to start a business. It doesn't matter what situation you're in. Um, even now, I am working really long hours. I'm working nine to 14 hour days. Um, so, and I'm working two different jobs at the moment. I've got my accounting business and I've got our sales business. So um, I am extremely busy, which is why I don't have a lot of time to do other things, especially when it gets busy, but it, everything can be done. Anything can be done with a plan. So I've been talking, helping out one or two people um, that are interested in getting their online businesses or side hustles going. And the one thing that I am noticing is that they're really, really struggling with where to start and how to get started. And it's just so overwhelming because there's so much information, there's so much technical stuff, there's so much to think about and plan out that you do get overwhelmed and just feel like, how am I ever going to get it done and where to start? So that's what I wanted to do with these videos is really try to give you some ideas and tips on how to get started. So I'm going to use my little whiteboard here. It's my kids. That's why they colored all over it. <laughs> but pretend that this is just a normal piece of paper. Okay. The first, very, very first thing that I would tell you to do is make two lists. Okay. Your first list is going to be like your goal list. Okay. So you're going to write this out and you know what? Making this list might take you a week. It might take you three or four days, okay? Don't stress about it. The number one thing that I want to tell you or encourage you guys to do is just to break this process into baby steps and do one baby step at a time. Um, now, if you're very busy, the problem with that is if you don't have your steps written down somewhere, when you have an hour or half an hour or two hours that you can go, okay, I'm going to focus on getting this business started, it's very time consuming to then sit down and go, where do I start? What do I do? By the time you decide what you're going to do, your time is gone and you haven't accomplished anything. So it's a big time waster to not have a plan. A plan is your number one tool. It's the number one key to success for your business or your side hustle. You need to have that list. So when you have that time, you sit down and you go, okay, I'm going to do item number one or item number three. And that is all you work on. And you don't think about anything else. You just get that task completed. When you do that, whether it's weeks or months, every task that you do is going to get you closer to your goal. Okay. But if you do nothing and you just sit down and get confused and overwhelmed for an hour a week, after four weeks, you're still going to be overwhelmed with no progress. Okay. So the number one thing that you need to do is identify your goals and then make your to-do list. All right. So your first paper that we're going to do here is your goal list. So what do you want to do? I want an online shop that can be goal number one. Okay. Uh, do I want to sell other people's products or do I want my own products? So then you're going to say um, uh, identify sorry, products. Okay. Then you need to think of logistics. How are you going to deliver these products? Are you going to do something like Wish Local or local deliveries in your area? Are you going to use a courier? So how to ship, let's say, okay? 
Are you going to do local, local sales, international sales? This might seem a bit dumb, like we're putting a lot of stuff, I'm putting eyes where they don't belong. This might seem like we're putting a lot of points here that aren't really relevant, but trust me, that's very, very relevant when you're starting your own business because all of these questions need to get asked. You obviously need to cost your products as well, okay? You need an advertising plan. Even if you don't have money now, you need this advertising plan so that you know what you're working towards, okay? How many products do you want? Maybe you want 10 products, okay? You should write that down because in the beginning, you're probably not going to start with 10 products depending on your cash flow. You might start with two or three, but you know that your goal is to have 10. Then if you want to have 10, maybe right now you don't know what products you want, but as you go along and you start identifying what products you want to add, make a list of that as well. That's what I do in my business. When I decide what new styles I want or new colors or if it's made from a the same product but made from a different material, I put those on a list and I say, okay, the next, the next line that I want to add is made from cotton and it's this style or it's made from you know cashmere and it's that style. And I have my list so that I know that when I'm ready to reinvest in new products, I look at my list, I see my priority list, and I go from top to bottom, and I just follow that list. And that helps me build my stock the way that I want it to build instead of in a rush and under pressure and stress without making good decisions. So you see, you need to write out your goal list. This is going to be step number one, okay? And you know, online shop is not a goal. That's just not your, that's not your only goal. You need to have it written out step by step by step. So when you sit down next week, you go, okay, I want an online shop. Okay. That we should probably break down. So for your online shop, you should probably say, okay, what kind of online shop do I want? Do you want a Facebook shop? Okay. Cause a Facebook shop is really good for local sales, but you can also do international sales on there, but it's, it's mostly for local sales. All right. Then you can have an Instagram shop, which is better for also local sales, but also for, it's more also for international sales. You can have a Shopify shop, which that's you setting up your own website um, to sell your products on. So you, it's literally your own website full of products that you can sell on. And what's cool when you set up a Shopify shop, it is 20 to $30 a month in fees, but that Shopify shop can sync with Instagram and with Facebook. So anytime you add a new product to Shopify, it's going to automatically copy it over to Instagram and to your Facebook shops. Also, when you sell products, it synchronizes the stock levels for you. So it's a really, really handy tool to have that. And it gives your business a professional look. It makes it easy for people to find you. Um, a lot of people will start coming to your website and not just Facebook or Instagram to find new products. Also to check out, you know, if you're trustworthy to get to know you better on your you know, on a Facebook page, you can only have so much information on an Instagram page as well, but on your shop website, you can put about us, you can take pictures of yourself and your shop, you can, you know, put a little story, uh, you can do your future products. It, it presents a much better um, look to, view to the people that you're hoping to sell to. So for me, I think it's definitely worth it if you're going to get into the online world, go ahead and start right now with your Shopify shop and then build from there. So for me, step number one would be get a Shopify shop and set it up. Okay, that would be my suggestion. Um, Twenty to thirty dollars if you should be manageable. If it's really, really not, you can start with a Facebook shop. But remember, that's really going to be just for local stuff. So you can start like that and see how it goes. Okay. Um, an Instagram shop you cannot do unless you have a Facebook shop already. So the Instagram shop is linked to linked to Facebook. You need the Facebook shop set up first, and then you do the Instagram shop. Okay, so that's not an option for number one. Your number one option is going to be either a Shopify shop or a Facebook shop. Okay, and the Facebook shop is free. All right. Then you're going to look at, yes, identifying what kind of products you want to sell. You're going to decide how you're going to ship them. Uh, do you want to sell locally? Do you want to sell internationally? You don't have to do both of those at the same time. You can say, I'm going to start with selling locally, but you can have international sales on there for the future when you grow and you just keep it on your goal list. And as you work through this goal list and you tick things off, okay, I've done that, I've done that, I've done that, you know, then you can see the next one. And when it gets too full, you can rewrite it with your new goals because your goals should always be evolving. This should never get fully checked off and you're just done. 
I mean, when you get your shop set up, then you should add new goals. Okay, I want 100,000 in sales. Okay, I want to do more advertising. I want to get more people in. I want to add new products. This should be an everlasting list that's constantly evolving and changing. Okay, so that should be a good thing to get in your head as well to get going. Uh, you definitely need to cost your items first. And I have a lot of videos on this and I have free templates up on the videos for you guys to use. So that is number number one for you to make sure that you're going to make money on the products because that's what you're doing this whole thing for. Uh, you need your advertising plan and also to identify how many products you want and what kind of products you need. There's a lot more that I can add to this list, but I think that this is a really good starting place for anybody that's starting out. So I don't want to overwhelm you with more than that. I will do more videos in the future Look, like add to this list, okay? But let's get started. This is more than enough. So I hope that you see by having a list like this, when you have an hour or two once a week or every few days or whenever it is that you have, when you have a list like this, it's gonna be a lot easier to accomplish your goals. So let's just say you get one hour a week or two hours a week to, to start your business, your, either your side hustle or your online shop. Week number one, I'm gonna go open that Shopify shop, cool. Week number two, I'm gonna keep setting it up because it takes a bit of setup and you have to put in a lot of details. Um, the Shopify shop could actually take a whole month to set up when you add all your products, okay? Step number two, you're gonna decide how you're gonna sell the products. Identify what products you're gonna sell, okay? So one day you're just gonna sit down and think, what products do I wanna sell? The next day you're gonna sit down and think, how am I gonna ship these products? Am I gonna use you know, the US Postal Service? Am I gonna use FedEx, UPS? If you're in another country, are you gonna use Herms or DPD? Um, those are big questions. You need to reach out to those companies. You need to get a quote so that you can get a contract for better rates. You need to find out all of this information before you can even do your costing. So that's why I put costing down lower on the list because your costing is really gonna depend on a lot of these other uh, answers. You need to know what kind of shop you're gonna have. You have to factor that into your costing. You wanna know how much your products are gonna cost. You wanna know how you're gonna ship them, what that cost is gonna be. And once you have all of that information, then you can go down and do the costing and put your product, put the prices on your products, okay? I know this is a lot. I'm not trying to overwhelm you. I'm sorry if I am. Please reach out with comments or questions um, if you need more guidance or more help. Like I said, I'm gonna make a few of these short videos and try to help you guys get started as fast as possible, okay? Um, just quick, Quick uh, note for people that are looking more for a side hustle kind of thing, if you're not looking to sell online, whether it's eBay or Shopify or wherever it is, if you're just trying to do something like DoorDash or uh, surveys or inspections, there's so many apps out there now that you can go out and make a few hundred bucks on the side um, if you have an hour of time to go into a shop and just do you know, an inspection, like a quality inspection or to do DoorDash or to do Uber or whatever it is, same process applies. Okay, you want to do Uber, you want to do DoorDash, you want to do any of these things, make your goal list. First thing, sign up for DoorDash. Step number two, fill out your account in full. Make sure that you're fully verified, fully identified. Give them all the information you need. Make sure your account is 100% ready to go. Number one thing that I have learned about setting up side hustles or setting up online businesses is the half filled in profile is not good. You don't rank well, you don't present a good, um, uh, first impression to your buyers and to the people. So you always want to make sure that your sh your shop or your profile anywhere is 100% validated and 100% filled in with all your information, transparency and being ready. The worst thing you want to do is work and sell and your account's not verified and then you can't get your payment because you have to wait for a verification process to take place. So make sure you get fully verified with whatever you're doing. All right, guys, make your list. So again, if you're doing DoorDash or something or another app like that, sign up, set it up, uh, figure out how and when you're gonna do it, make yourself a little schedule, make yourself some goals, um, figure out if, you need, if you're working on tips, how are you gonna get that done? Make your list. If you need stuff to do your job, if you need a DoorDash, if you need to have, I don't know, hand sanitizer and wipes in the car and some extra bags, make sure you get all that stuff ready. Make your list, make a plan, guys. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. See you next time. Bye.